Howdy folks, I am Ruski Al, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. In the last episode, our investigation focused mostly on uh, Junko and Oshima, her setting up the Ultimate Despair's group, and her death at the conclusion of the Killing School Life that took place here at Hope Speak Academy. In this one, I'm not sure where our investigation is going to take us, other than the fact that it's a different hallway. The hallway of the fourth floor. It's so sudden, what's going to make something like this happen? I've already decided I'm not going to be surprised. That's right, there's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. So, are we at... Well, we're at the stairs. And, I mean, absolutely, Akane's out here. So we'll go and check with her, see if she's found anything interesting. Uh-oh. She's got her bloodhound face on. What do you smell, girl? Akane's twitching her nose like a beast and examining her, examining her surroundings. Uh, what's happening? Well, you know, it's just my gut, but I feel like someone's getting closer. Uh, what do you mean? Who? I just walked up to you. I don't know, it's just my gut after all. It's just my gut! But still, her gut is pretty impressive. For some reason, it's strangely intuitive. And Monokuma did say something about the main cast coming. It's surprising, but her, guts mu her gut must be correct again this time. And she can smell them? That's impressive. Okay, so... if uh, Assuming I can see through the, li what, the liver spots or whatever that are showing up on the screen. I Sorry, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, I'm trying to find... Where... Ah, this must be our door. The music room. I think I came in from a uh, from the opposite location of where I'm accustomed to. Because after all, I played this game so recently. No, I, re I, I really haven't. That's new. This looks like the music room. And what's with the Ten Commandments? Uh, I, I see the uh, term for future again written at the top of it. I feel like I can sense something strange. <laughs> you don't say! Even the walls are screwed up. Oh, by the way, I should probably keep in, keep a lookout for any Monokumas. I actually kind of forgot about that for a second. Um, I don't... God, it's such a mess up there, but I don't see any. No, I don't, I don't, I don't see any up here. Just, uh, just give me a second. Sorry, bear with me for a second. I'm not seeing it though, so. Okay, so we got this hologram and we got that monument. What do we. Let's check out the piano. It's a very nice grand looking, looking grand piano. It might be very valuable. Buki might have been able to play this. That's nice that you. That's nice. That's a nice sentiment. Although. Well, I mean, I guess she was the ultimate musician. It would stand to reason that she probably had talents for multiple instruments. So. Um. I mean, we'll do. I guess we'll. I guess for once we'll do the most obvious thing first. Excuse me a second. Looks like it's some sort of monument. Why would there be a monument in the music room? And not just that. The mark engraved into the monument is the symbol of the Future Foundation, right? Below that symbol, there's a short passage engraved. Ah, damn it! To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the graduates of Hope Speak Academy were among the many who established the Future Foundation. Huh? The Future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy? Uh, aren't they known as World Ender? This is completely different. Monokuma- He completely made it up! The Future Foundation- So, that's like the one- Okay, so... As confusing and uh, misleading as he can be, I can't explicitly think of a time when he straight up lied. So that makes this kind of unprecedented, unprecedented territory. As at least as far as I, at least as far as I know. Who knows? Maybe I'm forgetting something. Through you know the 80 plus hours of content between the two games, wouldn't surprise me. What is this? Words are just floating in the air. This is like a hologram, right? The floating letters are, are forming a sentence. It looks like a passage from an email. 
Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have obtained information. A person who claims to be a survivor of Hope's Peak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they're survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, it's possible they may be targeted by the ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though I don't believe the group can go that far without Junko and Ashima rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of the Killing School life. Also, if they are survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origins and we haven't located them either. We will continue investigating this matter. Also, regarding a separate matter, we have received a report from the research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been complete. It seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of Neo World Program. Survivor of Hope's Peak Academy? 50 students. Well, that aligns with uh, our group. Excluding Chiaki, who was part of the Future Foundation, there were definitely 15 of us, but what does survivors mean? It's like they're talking from some other world. What happened outside of Jabberwock Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then the world... Is it normal anymore? Maybe. I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we've lost. Ooh, that's the end of the music. I wonder what's... oh. Just... it just wanted to, it just wanted to transition back into this. I guess that's all the clues in this room. It's finally confirmed. The Future Foundation is on our side, at least. They were founded by the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy, and they took us in to protect us. So if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. No, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't see anything careless. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be... the ultimate despairs who caused the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. Apparently, I, apparently I, I'm dyslexic now, and just starting to switch words around. At least it's not letters at this point. The ones who are carrying out the will, Junko and Ashima, are making us go through this. Also, this caught me attention in the email too. What is this research facility on Jabberwock Island mentioned in this email? What's that about? Makes me wonder if it's Sea King Industries. The only future Foundation facility we found was that ancient ruin. And there's no way that's the research facility. If there really is a research facility on the island, there should be other Future Foundation members here. Somehow there are still so many mysteries. Well, evidently there's more to be found. Fourth floor, again. So that means another nice ca- oh, I, I must have walked a lot. Nice calves. Ooh, uh, that reminds me. Maybe I should look at something real quick. Just to make sure. Okay, so... From what I've read, what I want to try to do is build up that despair meter to a, to a level of, like, above 6? I think it's above 6 somewhere. So, as much as I want to clean it, we're going to leave it. That's pretty cool. Um... <laughs> so it's not any of those doors. It's not that door, which is a big important room in the first game. How about the headmaster's? The teacher's lounge. Well, this was a pretty important room in the first game as well, because uh, it dropped a pretty good bombshell in here. So what are we going to learn in here? We're going to learn quite a bit, evidently. Hey, Kaz. How you doing? This feels different from a classroom. It's probably the office, right? I mean, the room kind of has that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Well, now that you mention it, it does kind of look like that. More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonya? I, I don't see her anywhere. How much longer is this guy going to be obsessed with Sonya? Give it up already. I don't know. Hey, I mean, dude, Hajime, it's you, him, and Fuyuhiko. This is like the best chance he's going to get. Let him live a little. So, okay, so we've got the blackboard, 
Something down here. Flowers. Okay, I was trying to click on the flowers, but it didn't seem to register. I guess I must have missed the mark. Flowers on top of the desk? Plus, it looks strange to me. Are my eyes just tired? So we got the monitor, the hologram. What else? The camera. And the monofuma stick. Okay. One second. Ugh. Getting awful tired of that cough. Alright, so I wanna look at the I wanna look at the picture of the founder up there, because I know that's gonna be important. Well, let's do it the same order as the music room. We'll look at the hologram last. Hmm. There's something written on the blackboard. Oh. It's the name of all of the students. Hold on a second. Oh, um... That doesn't seem like the right number of people. Hold on a second. We've got Hajime, Chiaki, Kazuichi, Akane, Sonia, and Peko. Hold on a second. Alright, sorry about that. It sounded like someone outside was screaming bloody murder. Okay, um, okay, so I found out why, uh, the number didn't seem right. I was expecting there to be 15 names, so the five groups of three. Because, you know, because uh, Chiaki wasn't part of the, the list of students. But, I mean, Chiaki's name is right there. I can't believe I read over that and completely missed it. So, alright, so what's written here, other than the names? And we've got... Interestingly enough, Hioko, uh, Hioko and a newspaper clipping is off to the side. I wonder why. I wonder why that one specifically. Yeah, just okay. So we got the list of subjects, and just below that are the names I've seen before. So we got the newspaper. Anything else? Oh, here's the portrait. Let's see. Well, we'll start with that. Because admittedly, she looks a lot nicer in, from the newspaper. There's a newspaper posted on the blackboard. Below that, Hyoko Sionji is written there. Uh, what is this newspaper? She looks older and taller. Miss Hyoko Sionji. What is this? It says Miss Hyoko Sionji. This can't mean the same Hyoko, right? I mean, the Hyoko we knew. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was pretty much her defining feature. Okay, so it wasn't just an artifact of, uh... Like a... Like, like a... Just her changing her hair up. But the photo in this newspaper... In a way, I can see the resemblance to Hyoko, but her height and figure... It's too different from the Hyoko we knew. What does this mean? That is a very good question. Hmm. This lady looks pretty mature. She Hyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hyoko Sionji right here. Oh, then Hyoko has an older sister with the same first name and last name. An, an older sister with the first same same first and last name? Huh. That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Hyoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Well, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. She doesn't have an older sister! Yoko is the Sionji family's only daughter! If she doesn't have a sister, then... a relative? No, there's still too much of a resemblance. That is... Yoko. Huh? What are you saying? Hyoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. You you could have just said Hyoko isn't this tall, and you would have been fine. Now you're starting now you're starting to get weight now you're starting to kinda of go towards terror 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 territory here. Yeah. Okay, not the not the smartest choice of words that I chose. I mean, she was famous for her childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that. Well, I don't know what to tell you! Maybe she had a growth spit! And then shrunk again? What are you saying? She's already dead! There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. 
<laughs> well, regardless, all the clues I've provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What the heck? This is the truth? If this is the truth, then the Hiyoko in this newspaper is really the Hiyoko we knew. Is he really saying this is the same person? That's impossible! I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Hiyoko when she's already dead? Why... why does this even exist? I don't know, man. Could it be related to that list of subjects over there? Yeah, what about it? it? If it says subjects, maybe it means they were some kind of experiment, right? D did that experiment change Hyoko's body? Oh, what am I saying? Just saying it out loud makes it me sound messed up. What experiment? If it's some kind of experiment, it would mean that we're also test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard under that list of subjects. But... What kind of experiment was it? Oh, what's going on? Better not have anything to do with time travel. I don't know. I, I, I don't think time travel's involved. <sighs> okay, so for a while, I've been kind of getting a sense of, well, maybe they're going with, maybe they're going in kind of like a Matrix style thing, where we're where we're all in like pods or something and living in a virtual world and that's why the bomb could uh, that's why Monokuma could just en enact almost like magic to be so powerful because he was just basically manipulating the code he's basically being Neo from the Matrix movies but it just for somehow it just seems too obvious or like cliched or something I, I don't know something's weird and I don't like the only explanation that I can think of. It just, it doesn't feel right. But I don't know what the right one is. Hold on, what, hold on again. Uh, sorry, but, you know, I, I thought, you know, recording close to, I, I figured recording late at night would be a good time to do it. Evidently, that's when all sorts of shit starts going on. An extremely overwhelming, Overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name etched into the placard says, Post Peak Academy founder Izuru Kamakura? The founder of Hope's Peak Academy. And this name, Izuru Kamakura, doesn't this clearly contradict the information I obtained earlier? Ah, damn it, another mystery. Maybe. Maybe it's the maybe <laughs> maybe Kazuichi had uh, the right sort of um, explanation, just with the wrong character. Maybe he's the founder, and the one who went and murdered thirteen other students was the kid. Uh, oh, and, may and maybe he founded it so he could study his kid, and that's why they were so hell bent on covering it up. That seems like a that seems like a natural flow. That could very well be the case. Okay, so we got the hologram. There are letters floating in the air, like the music room from earlier. Looks like a passage from an email someone wrote, and I think it's the same one from earlier. Let's go ahead and give it a read. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best and continue your investigation. However, you must ex you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Junko and Oshima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps there is still a leader on par with Junko and Oshima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shining future. Immediately eliminated? Does that mean this is in order to kill them? That doesn't sound peaceful at all. 
I guess it's understandable. If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is as terrible as it sounds, it's pretty much all-out war. So if the remnants of despair are the ones waging that war, there's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. Remnants of despair has been added to the truth bullets. Uh oh Okay! With this, you've totally raised all the flags on this floor! At least it doesn't sound like it's the end. Congratulations, Hajime! You shall now go on to the next stage! Next stage? Alright, so... In the next episode, we'll find out where we end up. And exactly what other information there is to discern regarding, well, just the whole situation in general. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.